Herb Wesson made a deal with the, with the police union. I can't even speak, I'm so angry. And threw black and brown communities under the bus. Yeah. As, a black, as a black man and as a pastor, you guys always say, well, well, you know, all police officers aren't bad. But the Bible tells me a little leaven leavens the whole lump. And if there's no accountability to, to take the yeast out of the bread before it blows up, then the whole lump will be contaminated. So, while the efforts to break the mold are commendable, the results at best are anemic and at worst tokenism, pure window dressing, nominal compliance with any kind of commitment to democratic civilian oversight. Six meetings a year is less than 15% of the commission's meetings, and at that rate, it will take four years to make one round of all the police bureaus in 15 council districts. It's not enough, and September isn't soon enough. If this minimal, minimal movement is because change is hard, then a real proposal would have included that by the second year, 50% of the meetings would be in the community, and by the third year, 100% of the meetings would be in the community. In addition, all areas of town and police activity are not equal. Black and brown communities that are disproportionately harmed and over-policed should be prioritized for more frequent input and feedback. I've said this before, that policing without representation is occupation. And I'm reminded about what we heard several months ago about a mother who had to tell her college-age son not to come home anymore for visits because of the danger posed by the LAPD. Hopefully, the saying that Martin Luther King Jr. popularized about the arc of the moral universe and history being long but bending toward justice is true. But remember, the arc doesn't bend by itself. It takes people like us and you to bend it.